hello everyone welcome to you on my channel in my last video we learned the progress chart today we are going to learn about bar graph with target line let's begin this is our data and this is the chart which i have already developed for your information see here when i am changing my targets it's changing with the value okay now we will learn in two methods how we can make this data i select my data to here go to insert and insert the chart you can see all my data is here i will select my data what i am going to actual and target apply you can see here blue color is the target and orange color is actual now the first method which we are going to learn is based on this target value and actual savings this method we are going to apply based on this one based on this one we will use here this line needs to be updated i will go to change the chart type i just click on this information as a right click and chart type change from this target for i'm going to select the line chart when i select okay and you can see the target bar is available based on the line the first option which we have done it it's clear now okay now for example instead of this target based on each line i just want to select this target instead of this i am going to remove it and i will add here the data right click select data add and series name target saving and the value is i am going to select this four okay okay now you can see one blue bar is available here just right click on the blue bar and change chart type here just click down and select the scatter you will see here a one small dot is available now see here now its one dot is available now the first step you will do you will go to plus sign and here click on error bars and then come back here then again select right click format data series and you will find here this information just go in this area drop down and select here series target saving x bar okay you can see here certain options came here now i'm going to select no cap plus sign and fixed value here i will give you the two methods to draw this line first is i'm going to see how many information how many engineers or how many buyers i have it as a series i have 17 and i'm going to select as 17 here and you will see here when i'm going to click it here one line is here now see now i can format this line as per my requirement i can increase the thickness of the line as per my requirement okay i can change the color of the line i can change the color of these bars as well there are two methods here directly you can change it here i'm going to select this one see it is changing now here i select my data this one and i'm going to make the changes here this is first method the second method to draw this line go to here custom and specify value positive value error and negative value error these are very important if i will make here anything wrong it will reflect here for example now i'm going to make it positive here 
and negative here 0. You can see here my line is draw as per my requirement, but if I will do it in a other way around it will be different. For example, now we will do it 0 and 17 here. You can see the impact here. It is not drawing your line now. Okay. So, when you are doing it, you should be careful about this. These are the two methods which you can draw. Now, whenever the value is changing here, okay, and you can see it here, it is changing automatically. One more important thing which we can do it here, this dot is appearing here, this dot. You can change this dot, okay, just go to the marker, this format painter, marker and marker options, none. Instead of this blue, not automatic, none. You can see it is removed from here. So, it is clear now with you, you can draw these options. In the same chart, you can select an other count average as well. For example, this is my data, okay, and I want to now instead of actual, I want to compare with and I will remove this target saving and you can see it is clear from here. I will add here another data, just right click here, select data, add series name is this one and series value is this one, okay. You can see it here, this dot is available here with us and we can go to this dot, okay. See this is a practical error now, we will see that one and here we will fix this one. one is showing this one, okay, not this one. We need to see this option, x-axis. Format series, error bars, see we have not selected this option. This is the reason it is not showing us that one. Okay, and here see now it appears now, no cap plus value fixed up to 17 and this line is here with us now. Now we can format it. You can see this one, th these are the normal things which whatever the error is coming, you can have to review that what error can be. I will select my this uh, some other color. Okay, now this is showing some different color, this is a count color and now I am going to actual saving and target saving as well and it will show you both. You can see this one now. So, this way you can add and uh, more data as per your requirement. That is all. This is for today's video. Thank you very much. Feedback. I hope you enjoyed this video and before leaving, if you have not already subscribed this channel, make sure to subscribe, like and hit the bell icon to get updates when I post new videos. Provide your feedback in comments.